Hello, Charmander. Are you enjoying this Pokemon Red Nuzlocke challenge? Yes, I am very much. Which one is your favorite? I like a fox Charmeleon. I wish he killed you. Of course you would, you nepotist. Hey guys, Taghead9 here with another episode of the Pokemon Red Nuzlocke Tales. Oh my god, squeal. Right. In this episode, we are about to depart from the SS Anne, or the Saint Anne, if you're Japanese or watch the anime too much. It departs without me. I like the fact that had I been there for one more moment, I would have had to have sailed the world for a year, putting my Pokemon journey on hold. And I think that actually sounds fine. You know, I'd rather be sailing the world with a bunch of drugged up people. Cool. Man, why do I have to watch it and listen to it? Anyway. Um, in the last episode, oh, between the episodes, by the way, I haven't gone to the Pokemon Center yet because you had to watch the boat depart, otherwise, you know, you'd never know why I never went back. But I did grab a candy that I found on the floor, so we are going to give it to, oh, actually, I want to give it to Sandor, but is he close to, um, leveling up anyway? Cuckoo? No, he's not. Alright, so we're going to start this episode with Sandor leveling up! Oh, shit, he's evolving! <gasps> Don't know what that was, but that's how excited I am. Look, guys, Sandor 2 is growing up to be a big birdie. Oh, look at that. Hello, Sandor 2. You look cozy. Now then, in this episode, we are using Chowbella's newfound ability to cut in order to head on through to the southernmost point of Vermilion City. What lurks there, I wonder? I hear rumors that there is an, um, <laughs> a lightning American there. I want to discuss football with him. I reckon he'd be like a San Diego Chargers fan. And I say San Diego Chargers because he's just pissed that they're in LA now. You know, he's like, I supported them throughout the uh, Ryan Leaf days and this is how they treat me. That, that, that's not good. And alas, that's now how um, <laughs> freaking Lieutenant Surge will sound for the rest of this Let's Play. Okay. Ciao, Bella! Yes, Daddy? Harden? No, cut! Ciao, Bella hacked away with cut! Yeah, boy. Right, um... Now, I don't know what levels to expect here, so we are going to... Yeah, I don't need to talk to you, I know what I'm doing. I'm talking to you, though! I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity! Ooh, that, <laughs> that sounds like a dangerous combination. I may be small, but I like to electrify things! The rocker with the Voltorb. Eh, it's not too bad. Especially since uh, Butts has an ability to go underground. First, he needs to be screeched at, so just so he knows who's boss. Ooh, Sonic Boom. At these low levels, that'll be doing a fair bit of uh, nastiness. Good thing he screeches to lower my defense and then uses a technique that has a set amount of damage. That's clever. I'm going to continue on the Butts f fury. Butts just needs to take out all of his aggression, his pent-up rage from the SSN. He had to pee that whole time, and he didn't have an opportunity to go to the bathroom. And now, one last karate chop! Yeah! That does neutral damage right now. <laughs> Give it one generation, and it will not. I wonder what level Butts evolves. Man, if I could have multiple Pokémon evolving, that would be splend different. Splendidly different! Yeah, you can screech all you like. Butts can't hear you anymore. You're... <laughs> he or he has already gone deaf. Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. He's actually that that pose he's doing. That's not like a karate pose. That's him actually signing right now. <laughs> Butts is handy capable. Yeah. And he wo one manned the um, rocker. So that's good. That's good. If I had healing, I would use that now. But no. Come, Kruger. Come to the front of the party. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO! <laughs> Commanding officer? No! He was my cuddling owner. <laughs> a wee little Pikachu with a high level! Okay, that's... that's... that's fun. That's fun and happy. No! Don't... don't wave thunders at me, sir! No! Kruger's fully paralyzed! That didn't take long. <laughs> Kruger's like, screw this, I didn't want to fight anyway. <laughs> Are you paralyzed, Kruger? He's like, uh, yeah, can't, can't, can't move a muscle here, guys. Better, 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 better put someone else in. I know that's not what Kruger sounds like, it'd be more like, 
put someone else in, for Kruger can no longer do the fighting. <laughs> I don't trust Kruger alone with my children, man. <laughs> I don't even have children yet, and I fear for their safety. Okay. Stop! You're very good! And one last thug to hug. With... Uh, how about Chabella? She can attack now, better than she could before. This is no place for kids! Ugh, Christ, spat on the screen again. <laughs> this is why I'm not very good in one-to-one uh, -one conversations. That's why I made this YouTube channel, because I just spit on people when I see them. <laughs> They're like, hello, my name is, Ch my name is uh, Maurice, and I'm like... Bleh, bleh. No! Chow Bella wanted to cut! <laughs> she wanted to cut off the profits! It's okay, but not great. Mm. Okay, well that was... Ooh, no, let's... we're not gonna do that one more time. We are gonna put old... Ah, screw it. <laughs> this is what Poot is here for. This is what he was born and raised to do, you know? Come out, fight electric rats. Carry the slack for his bee buddy. <laughs> Unfortunately, when they were um, handing out partners for this Let's Play, Poot ended up drawing the short stick and got Chabella, who was finally leveled up. <laughs> oh, how appropriate for Chabella! She finally learns a technique, and it's the technique that actually does not work! I don't know if you guys were aware of this, but um, in Gen 1, up until Pokemon Stadium, Focus Energy was actually programmed incorrectly. It's supposed to multiply your chance of doing a critical hit, but it was programmed to actually divide your chances of doing a critical hit. So it actually does nothing. So there you go. <laughs> Chao Bella, the most useless member of my party, has now gotten the most useless move in all of Pokemon. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. I think that's... I think that's great for her. <laughs> uh... Man, these trees grow back fast. I guess it's just a really good, um... <laughs> really good atmosphere for them. We're just gonna go back. Recover health before taking on Lieutenant Surge. Now, what did he sound like again? Uh, yeah, that's what he sounded like. I think he sounded like that. He's gonna sound like that now. It's hard with these voices. Like, you know, if you're, if you're gonna be doing proper voiceover, you kind of think about it beforehand, kind of assign characters their voices based on their physical appearance, and the fact that you're not just suddenly doing it live. So in, a, in essence, I should have actually prepared this, but no. No, I did not. I run on the Chow Bella system of um, techniques, where you're never prepared, and your techniques are useless. Okay, now I can't actually hear which one's which, so... Nope. Okay, good. It actually says so. Nope. It's like one and then it's the other one next to it, yeah? <laughs> I like the fact that Lieutenant Surge's techniques is just to put um, his entire security system based on literal garbage. Man, this place is just filled with trash. Is it literally the last bin I'm going to? Holy shit. Or maybe they're all just filled with trash. There's a switch under the trash. Turn it on. First electric lock opened. Shit. Oh no, I thought it was... Oh, frack. That's what this whole goddamn episode is going to be about. That's right, if this takes too long, this is just going to be one of those fast-forwarding moments that I'm so very fond of. And it... Man... If, 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 if um, I wasn't worried about breaking copyright, I'd put Yakety Sax on. First electric lock opened. Second electric lock opened, there we go. The motorized door opened. Oh, what's in your trash? Oh, he just so he's just a fan of bins, really. He's not even a he wasn't even in the army, he's actually just a janitor. Hey kid! What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war! They zapped my enemies into paralysis! The same as I'll do to you! I think it's actually, um Pokey from freaking uh, Earthbound, man. 
was the same voice I used. The Lieutenant Surge wants to fight. A Voltorb versus the steely nerve of Chow Bella. All right. Yeah, that was a failure. You're a failure. Oh, you're a fast failure. I don't really think Voltorb needed to have its speed raised, but okay, if you're into that kind of thing, I guess. Oh, I'm sensing a one-hit KO coming up, guys, but... Oh, no? Not if it's gonna use Sonic Boom. dun da 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 Ooh, I wonder... I reckon Chow Bella might have actually gotten a win! <gasps> guys! My useless bee just beat his useless ball! Guys! Oh, guys! That swell. It's like my lymph nodes. Swelled. <laughs> okay, now, man, we, we, we're pretty uh, confident now. If Chow Bella can do things, then what can butts achieve? Why, butts can be hit quickly, and then sulk in the ground. He's using the Doug's technique. <laughs> if someone hits you, you just hide underground, mister. Like David Bowie. I mean, by the song Underground. I don't mean this, that David Bowie generally hid underground whenever he was threatened by enemies. <laughs> but maybe he did, I don't know, he's a weird guy. Okay, write you. I'll write you a letter. This seems like an opportunity for Dugs to do his thing, but... Nah, let's... Let's go on a streak of letting Poot take out the final enemy. Hello, Raichu. You look tubby as fuck, and I love you. And now you're fast. Because <laughs> I'm sure your high speed wasn't, um, enough for your tastes. Ah, that'll do minor damage. Uh, I'll take back that minor damage, sir. Poot poisons his portly protagonist. He's actually an antagonist, but I wanted to use more P words. Poo bum. A little bit of vine whipping. Ooh, wow. Okay, let's try something else. That's right, Raichu's got high specials, so we're gonna have to go down the physical route. Some poison, some leech seeds, and then. Poot plonks his body all over the Raichu. Wondrous, wonderful, wunderbar. Whoa! You're the real deal, kid! Find it! Take the Thunder Badge! <laughs> I admit it, I wasn't in the army! I was in the Boy Scout! The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed, also lets Pokemon fly any time, kid! You're special, kid! Take me! What did I get? <gasps> I got the Thunderbolt. Ooh, Thunderbolt. Teach it to electric Pokemon. Like whom, I wonder? I don't think I've got anyone who can use this Thunderbolt. Let's see. Does anyone like the idea of Thunderbolt? What? 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 Why can my... Butts Monkey conduct electricity! How bizarre! Oh, I want to use it because it's so stupid! <gasps> oh, guys, I think I'm gonna. Oh, uh, no, fine. I guess I might need it later. <laughs> I reserve the right to later on give Thunderbolt to Butts because it's the stupidest fucking concept in the world. A manky with Thunderbolts. Thunderbutts. If you want to see uh, Butts use Thunderbolts later on in this Let's Play, just um, leave a comment. Hashtag Thunderbutts. Alright, that's another badge at our behest. And now we are going to go back into the Diglett Cave, or as they call it in France, Du Cave du Diglett. It would be actually be Le Cave du Diglett, but you know. <laughs> in French it's actually Of Cave of Diglett, I suppose. They weren't really thinking it very far through. Oh, well, I can actually, um, bihicle my way through it. So I can crush whatever comes at me under my wheels. That'd be really good. Der her 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 her. In I go. Oh, yeah, who's at the leadoff? 
Um, oh, well, maybe Sandor 2. The newly evolved Sandor 2 can, um, put enemies in their place. Hello there, wee little diglet. I've got a big birdie who wants to say hello. Still hasn't got a lot of attacks, though. I mean, Sandor 2 is, um... He's pretty sturdy, but he's not exactly, um... <laughs> hasn't really got a lot of techniques in his arsenal. But that's okay. He'll learn some stuff later on, I'm pretty sure. I remember when I was a kid, the concept of using Mirror Move really excited me. I'm like, yeah, that's great! I can take what they did and do it back to them! And then I realized, wait a minute. But why would I do that when I could just attack them in the first place, rather than waiting for them to hit me first, in Pidgeot's rather fragile face, and then do that back to them, <laughs> oftentimes in a not very effective way because they'd be using an attack that is of their typing. Yeah, I wasn't a smart kid, I admit it. My original Venusaur had Solar Beam, Razor Leaf, Sleep Powder, and... I can't remember what the last one was. For a while, it was cut, actually, until I could put, until I could move him forward. Oh yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Wow, Dig Diglet, did you not think that the flying bird would have um, little care for your digging techniques? I guess he just wanted to show off, you know. That's what he's all about. He all he's all about dead dig. Man, this is actually a really good opportunity for um, Sandor to buff up. This is more further evidence of the concept that Sandor 2 is my third most useful Pokémon. I think Kruger takes the fourth spot at the moment. Butts, Butts is a pretty respectable fifth, and then Chow Bella... <laughs> Chow Bella just um, plays with glue in the corner. And yet, if I were to sacrifice anyone, it would not be her. <laughs> Man. I don't want anyone to die right now. I'm pretty stoked with this team, you know? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. If this is the team I go through the entire Let's Play with, then I'll, I'll be down for that. I keep forgetting that Diglett's faster, and I keep wanting to finish it off with Gust. And I don't know why, because Gust has no credible use beyond, um, now that I have Quick Attack, there's just nothing here for it. Oh, well. Hello? I want the rock tunnel, but it's dark and scary! If a Pokemon Light could flash it up, I wouldn't be so scared! Sweet! Now we come on down here. Walk in here. A fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like Cut! Yeah, that's great. I don't care. I'm looking for Abra. Wanna trade one for Mr. Mime? No! I often wonder with these Pokemon you can only get through trade, why do they appear to have the only one in the whole world? Anyway. We will now cut through this bush. Pop down ledges, and then, once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through Rock Tunnel! Yay! Hi! Remember me? I'm Professor Roxyade! If you caught ten kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HM5! So, Tibalt, have you caught at least ten kinds of Pokemon? Oh god, just barely. Wow, if I hadn't, would this, would this Let's Play be done? Huh, okay. Cool, now I got myself some Flash. Anyway, that's this episode done, guys! Make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, flash your friends and enemies, and I'll see you next time! Again, Dazzling Gleam will make an appearance, so I know you're excited for that. Unfortunately, it has a bit better special defense than the previous competitor, so it's not a one-hit KO, which I'm actually kind of upset about. It responds to Dark Pulse, which Marley would be terrified by if he wasn't hiding behind his little green doll. He responds with another deadly Gleam. It's not very creative, but you know, we're not here to create, we are here to destroy, frankly. There's one more competitor out, and it's a ninja. What tricks does it have up its sleeve, I wonder? Well, it's gonna try a technique which is called dying. And what do you know, it worked.